Dennis, data monopoly has been a recent hot topic as internet is being widely used. The US giant Amazon and Facebook, as well as the Chinese big tech player Tencent and Alibaba, are all exploiting huge profit from using data. What does the Chinese government think? The Chinese government appreciates the contributions of the Chinese tech companies, which truly help a lot in terms of improving the living standard of the Chinese people. However, all these Chinese tech companies are going with greater influence on the Chinese people and some practice that might be deemed to be unfair started to appeal. From what we learned from economic class, there are four factors of productions. They are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Today, the Chinese government considers data as the fifth factor of production. That is the reason why the Chinese government plans to set rules and regulations to maintain a level playing field. Basically, all Chinese tech platforms, including Tencent, Alibaba and Didi, have come under scrutiny by the Chinese government. What do you think such antitrust campaign will lead to? Last week, the Guangdong provincial government published an action plan on the regulation of data. The plan will be tested in the Shenzhen district as a pilot program. This is the first ever official plan announced by the government related to regulations of data. The plan mentioned a two-level market structure for data. The first level is dominated by the government administrative officials and is treated as an infrastructure for public goods. Government will be responsible for united all the cities and districts under Guangdong provinces in terms of clarifications of law, standardization of data format, data securities, data ownership centralizing system, and so on. On top of the first level, we have the second level, which is dominated by the market participants. The second level contains a data exchange and focus. It is very similar to the stock exchange and bookage system. My guess is that the government will treat each principal business as one individual entity, and it will be registered as one data participant at the exchange. I take Tencent as an example. Tencent will not be identified as one participant, but its gaming business will be treated as one single entity. Another business unit, the Tencent Music Entertainment, will be treated as another individual entity. All the individual entities will have to trade their private data over the exchange with transparent pricing. To conclude, I think investors will pay attention to see if the government hold a firm grip on the big tech companies. I think the plan could be successful to ensure a sustainable and balanced society in the long term. Moreover, it would encourage new competitors to challenge the incumbent tech platforms for the benefits of the consumers. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next episode.